So you may or may not know that we actually got a tracker on this vehicle from Skytag, and that's a really good device that will alert me if uh, the vehicle's moved out of a secure uh, sort of safety net, a uh, GPS safety net that I've set at work and at home, but also it'll tell me when the vehicle's been started, when it's been moved, and it can be tracked real time, and Skytag will connect through to the police to liaise to try and recover the vehicle. But I have picked up a little thing from Sealy. Now this is a battery monitor sensor and vehicle finder. So I'm presuming it's working in the same way. So it constantly connects to the battery. It's drawing power all the time, but it's a battery monitor that works with an app. So you basically just, I'm presuming, I don't know, I'm gonna find out. I'm presuming we just basically connect this to our battery, fit and forget, and we can use the app that you can download onto your phone to monitor your battery condition and also to see where your vehicle is. So let's get this hooked up could not be any easier look at that so it is just a little tiny unit that we're going to connect to the battery we'll get the app set up and see what it says now the other thing i like about fitting this device is the fact that it will work really well with the sky tag because if the vehicle does get taken and they open the engine to try and find the tracker i'm going to leave this in plain sight so they can see it and think there's the tracker let's get rid of it and then hopefully i'll still have the backup of the sky tag so this is really just almost like a dummy tracker device but also gives me really good information or so i hope right so we've got it in place so before i stick it down I'm just going to quickly take a picture of the serial number so quick barcode scan So it's actually picked up the device already, look, which is good. Uh, device name, we'll put the reg, it's connecting. Bluetooth, whoa, there we go. So it is a cool little device, I think. Um, it's showing I've got low charge, 60%, and that is probably true. Uh, I can actually set a notification to give me an alert when it drops below, say, 50%. So basically the idea is if the battery does drain down to 50% and I'm going to struggle to crank the engine, I don't want to damage the battery. I have got a, a jump pack on board um, should I need it, but I want to be notified if the battery is going to drop that much. So when we're camping, if at any time the battery drops, it's going to give me a warning and I can just turn things off like auxiliary lights and everything. So a couple of other nice tests you can do. We can do a cranking test. So we can start the car. That's going to give me a cranking test look just over 10 which is it says it's cranking voltage okay cranking voltage is normal voltage so that's within the parameters which is great another nice feature of this is we can actually do a charging test so if we have the engine running with all the auxiliary uh, components running lights on heater on we can actually uh, start the test here and it'll give me an idea of how much charge is going back into the battery whether it's all working properly now it wants me to turn everything off and keep the engine high. So we'll go off, off, off. And then we've got a diode ripple test. Keeps idling. Turn off all electrical equipment and test until the end of the test. So we've um, turned all of that off. There we go. Got an idle charge test, 13.9. That's healthy, so that means our alternator is working well. We've got high speed charging voltage, so it means that when you're actually under load, you're going to be putting a little bit more in there, uh, and that's also normal, which is great. And then we've got our diode ripple voltage, and that means it's like a uh, parasitic drain, if you like. Um, and that is normal. So we've got nothing to worry about as far as our sort of systems are going. Now, I know we do have this information probably on our OBD reader that we also carry in the vehicle, but it's nice to have it just at your fingertips. And if you haven't got an OBD reader, what a great function to have all of that information on there, as well as battery monitoring. Obviously, old school, you'd have a battery monitor on your dash just to give you an idea of how your batteries were going. And don't forget, you could link this to an auxiliary uh, leisure battery on a split charge system and it still give you the same information of your battery. Wouldn't give you the cranking information, but it would give you the low drop. So it is a handy tool for that, and it's on your phone, it gives you alerts. So in that respect, it's excellent. Um, the car finder, it's a little bit of a gimmick. It's, it's nice to have if you haven't got anything on your phone like that, that does track the last point of uh, GPS location via your phone. Um, 
that the app was receiving via Bluetooth, if that makes sense. So it's just going to log basically where you parked your car. But at the end of the day, if you park in a big retail park, as I said before, somewhere like that, you're going to be able to find your car where you last left it. But there are other things that it does do that I think are really good. And I think for the price of £35, it's an absolute bargain. So definitely well worth the investment. I'm so pleased I've got it for my battery management definitely worth looking at and so we'll just keep an eye on that and let you know how useful it was on our trip so thanks for watching please do subscribe if you enjoyed it give us a thumbs up and i'll catch you on the next one